Mahdi and Chandra Bose. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much honor. Thank you. Well now, where do I start? Is everybody okay? <laughs> do you feel like you've seen a three hour film? I, I didn't. Why are you not dancing in the aisles? Why are you not evoking the spirit of Natu Natu? No? Triple R. Rise, roar, revolt. I should get you all to do that now. But I won't. Instead, I will ask intelligent questions of these two gentlemen. So, MMK, Chandra Bose, you've had a long day, you've already been asked the same questions a hundred times. So let's start with a less obvious one. Uh, I read that Natu Natu, the greatest song in the YouTube universe currently, yeah was at first at a slower pace when it was being written. So what got it to 150 BPM, I believe? <laughs> and how did that affect, um, well, for you, Chandra Bose, when the song became faster and, you know, was getting towards its final form, did that affect your lyrics or did it just have more of a, an influence on the mood? Tell me what happened. Yeah, good evening everyone uh, and uh, thank you for your response for the movie and I am very uh, happy to receive this plus. And uh, the question, uh, the 150 BPM uh, is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, it served the purpose uh, of uh, getting the song higher and higher in tempo and, uh, and the, the performers have, they had to showcase their stamina uh, to the maximum and so that one person is, uh, is I mean, uh, is lasting, I mean, uh, in the arena finally and that has to be he. And there was this factor of uh, a sacrifice by Ram for the sake of a uh, uh, good feeling of uh, Bhim's uh, girlfriend. So these, these are the uh, uh, drama and emotional questions that um, well, well planted in, in the graph of this song. So this song is uh, not just a song, it, it's a scene, it's a, a integrated uh, with the movie. That, that, that's how I uh, saw the song. It's not just a dance number, it's a scene by itself. It certainly is, and stamina, I mean, holy mackerel, yeah, this whole film is stamina. Goodness me, it's epic. Chandra Bose, when it became faster, how did that affect your lyrics? No, I did not. It, it did not affect the lyrics. Um, the first line of the song describes about the bravery, and the second line ecstasy, and the third line unit and unity and collectiveness, and the fourth line depicts the uh, culture, food culture, and agriculture, and the five financial status of the countryside people. So the, all together these words are in the first portion of the song and, and the, when the speed increases, the, these words became action. You were telling me earlier that um, it increased the intensity of the, intensity song. Of the song. I was <laughs> myself wondering if that was possible. Um, it's just such an exuberant, joyous song. Um, you've just described all of the, the, the themes and the feelings. Question for you, Mr. MMK, B flat minor. Why did you write the song in B flat minor? Was that because of the, the, the range of the singers or specific instruments in the song that you wanted to sound good? Yeah, uh, normally uh, if, when I compose a song, I uh, calculate the lowest note uh, the song is hitting and the highest note. And every singer uh, has their own capacity uh, some, some singers uh, go up to two octaves and when I select the singers and I fix the range like you said because of the singer the song key is fixed but nevertheless 
it doesn't make any difference because every singer has to give uh, to the maximum uh, potential uh, you know, they have to reach. So it will happen in uh, any way, in any key, uh, whatever might be the key. Yeah. Uh, it goes with the singer. Brilliant. Now, I read that uh, your process for this film, you actually started composing from reading the script, correct? Uh, now, uh, with Rajamouli, I, I, I don't read the full script. I, I, he will give me the essence of the, every character and uh, I start composing themes for each and every character. And after watching the movie, then I go by the movie. I, I don't read the script, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, the production notes are lying then, and whoever gave them to me, they're fired. Um, that's amazing. So you, you came up with themes for the characters just from what Rajamouli told you? No, uh, he he explains the uh, what what is the character, what is, what is the antagonist, what is the uh, protagonist, and what are, what what is his aim. He he will briefly tell me the story. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't read the dialogue version, short division version. Uh, it, it's like uh, two three pages. I'm mean, like a synopsis. I, I get to know. Wonderful. So, how many themes are we talking about here? Pardon me. How many themes did you write for the different characters? Uh, yeah, uh, for being. And uh, yeah, uh, each and every character will be having multiple themes uh, sometimes. Uh, with aggression, with, with, with some themes are mellow. And there are uh, at least 15 themes uh, in this movie, uh, which majorly uh, keep coming all the while. Okay, so you got into some light motif. You are the Wagner of Indian film scoring. How about that? Uh, Do we agree? Uh, much, much honoured. MMK, partner of Indian Much honoured. Much honoured. Thank you so much. You should write an opera. I feel like this film is a bit of an opera, to be honest. You know? I wish I, I could. I wish I could. The triple R, the triple R cycle. Yeah, look out, ring cycle. Um, Chandra Bose, question for you. How, what what drew you to writing lyrics for songs? How How did you come to be here? What led you down this path, sir? Uh, in my childhood, I used to uh, read a lot of books, a lot of story books, kids' literature. So it helped me to improve my word power and improve my sentence construction capacity and improve my imagination skills mm -hmm. and used to sing songs, compose songs. So uh, after my completion of my engineering, I got a chance to write in films. My first movie is Taj Mahal. 28 years back, I wrote the you know, first song in movies. So from that, I wrote 3,600 songs in 850 movies. Wow. I suddenly feel really, really lazy. MMK, um, apologies, sir, if you have been asked this question a lot and it's, you know, potentially boring. But um, you said earlier you, you played the violin when you were younger, so you obviously grew up with music, but, and you've done what, 200 plus films now, is that correct? 252. What, what, I, I, I'm just going to give up, I'm the late. <laughs> but, the, the How did you? 252 films are, are in a different grammar, so you don't need to, I mean, um, uh, get I mean, oh my God, no, there is no uh, oh, my, oh, oh my God factor here. Because in my uh, beginning of my, my career, so one movie score will be completed, I mean, uh, in three days, which is ridiculous. So in that way, 252. Three but, days? Uh, yeah, three it days. three days to come up with a decent theme. But these days, uh, that's not the same. Oh my God. That, that is, I'm sorry, that is an oh my God factor. Everyone give, give him and care, oh my God, please. Oh my God. Goodness me. Now, have you two worked on songs for films before? I know you do all of Rajamouli's films and you're actually related to him, but what about you two? Is, how many collaborations have you done before? Almost 40 to 50 movies for 200 songs. Is that all? God. Uh, okay. Well, that's, that's less impressive. Yeah. Um, 
And I like, suppose like, like the, I mean, like the characters in this movie, they they behave larger than life. So these figures may sound larger than life, but see, like I said, the gram since the grammar is dif different. Like uh, see, pounds are not like kilograms. Yeah. These many pounds are, uh, but kilograms are uh, less. So like that, uh, 252. Please don't uh, take it by heart. <laughs> I'm 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 just. No, I'm astounded. I, I can't. I can't get past it. So, so if, if you if you're doing a film score in three days, I suppose you two what write a song in what ten seconds or something? <laughs> Not really. We used to, we used to record two songs or three songs a day, including every process. I mean, the voice dubbing, uh, the recording, the balancing, the mixing, everything happens in three songs a day. Did you hear this? <laughs> Yeah, I know it sounds comical. Uh, it sounds impressive. I think you two are larger in life. Um, now, forgive me, I know I asked this before, but um, can you actually do the dance from Natu Natu? <laughs> no, uh, see, I, I'm not a dancer in the first mm. place, and my uh, obesity and my knee pain. You are not obese. We're in America, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. But since you asked me, I, I just want to. Uh, stand up from my uh, seat and uh, uh, explain something about not not to. If Please not, do. If not dancing. Now many people ask why six eight. So a good friend of mine, a tabalist, his, his name is Prasad. He's from Chennai, uh, India. He told me one day that all animals walk in two four and all human beings walk in six eight. I said ridiculous. How? Explain me. Then he uh, he gave me one metronome and. He asked me to uh, listen to the metronome. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That's what the metronome. Mm -hmm. And he said, since all the animals like dogs, tigers, uh, lions, they have four legs, and they walk in two four. Like tick tock becomes one two three four, one mm -hmm. two three four, one two three four. And a human being, if he tries to walk in one two three four, he he feels uncomfortable, uh, and. Since, uh, uh, so he has to walk in six eight. That is one two three one two three one two three one two three one. The same TikTok. And I tried it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I tried it. Yeah. I felt very uncomfortable. See, one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three. Yeah, you're right. One, I thought two, I knew about four, music. One two but three I, I, four, one two three four, one two three. I'm not able to. I'm feel myself. But one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three. I can go uh, five kilometers or six kilometers on a, in a morning walk. So. There is this uh, encoded, a deeply encoded six eight rhythm in human blood, or something like that. So I was very much convinced. So when it comes to showcase of stamina to the fullest, uh, I said maybe six eight will go for six eight, and that six eight uh, uh, brought uh, this far. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, so many kilometers. <laughs> okay, on the side of the globe. So you all got that? If you're going to write a hip rhythmic song, use 6-8. I'm going to from now on. <laughs> ah, sorry. Um, instrumentation. You had big choirs of both male and female voices. And um, I saw that you had a shanai. We all know what a shanai is, right? Yeah, right? Sure. yeah. Right? It's like sort of the Indian version of an oboe. Um, very, very reedy. Michael Danner famously used the Shania in his first film, Exotica. Did you know that? God damn, you know everything. Yeah. You know about 6 8, you know about. Um, what was the full instrument range? Um, and tell me about how you blended sampled strings with your live strings, because I know you did some of that too. Yeah, there is an unfortunate trend happening uh, in uh, Asia and uh, uh, India at least. Uh, now I can observe that all the youngsters and uh, the new generation, they want to uh, I mean, make music easy. Uh, in order to get it done uh, uh, in an easy way, music made easy, composing made easy, they are resorting to computers and uh, um, VSTs, uh, virtual, uh, what they call uh, VSTs, uh, all the sampled tones. And since this is happening in music business, all the live players like Shehnai, Tabla, the percussionists, the strings, they are getting extincted. 
So they are losing their livelihood and uh, they don't have job. So since they don't have them, they, they want their sons and daughters to learn uh, electronics only. So it's been uh, becoming a habit of uh, getting into electronics and forgetting the live instruments. So we hardly get any live instruments in India. So there are very few of them left and they are charging a fortune. So uh, if you want to get the, a, a beautiful string section done in a score, you have to go to Bulgaria or you have to go to London or, or, or US somewhere in the world. But I wish uh, Mr. A. R. Rahman, my friend, he, uh, he, he, he has a school where he is uh, um, teaching uh, uh, music for freely I mean, uh, for the poor, for, for those who cannot afford. So, but I wish more institutes uh, will come like that and uh, we get to I mean, have the rich solo players and uh, live players uh, in, uh, in musicians uh, in all over India. That should happen again and the, so that the music will, I mean, the, the life comes to music again. It, it should not be completely electronic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do we all think MMK should maybe do some scoring sessions here with larger orchestras? Yeah. yeah. Come over here and we'll look after you. Um, Chandra Bose, back to you. What was the first sentence for the lyrics for Natu Natu you came up with and how did you come up with the very first sentence? Very first sentence is Natu 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 Veera Natu 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 Vura Natu 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 Pachi Natu 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 Pizza Natu Pizza Natu These four lines Brilliant! That's a very long first sentence <laughs> But not in single word, comes again and again. Lovely. Um, now, back to the questions you didn't want me to ask, but I kind of... Mm, everyone's already asked you how it feels to win awards. I, how, how does it feel to sort of be here, you know, in the middle of a intense Hollywood awards season, and how does that compare to various awards... Uh, back home in India, in Hyderabad. Yeah, I see, uh, to start with, uh, I, I happened to uh, go to Sofia in Bulgaria and attend a, a symphonic orchestra show I mean, in the theatre. And I observed a lot of cultural differences uh, between West and East. East is, of course, very rich in uh, culture and uh, classical uh, music and literature and all, but in West, I see a uh, hell lot of difference uh, uh, when it comes to respecting the artist. So I had been to this show uh, where the, um, the audience were going, uh, not going in the middle of the performance. Uh, even if they have to uh, go to the restroom, and they are waiting till the performance is done. And believe me, I mean, you 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 know you know better than me. So if the performance is uh, about, it's a five, five, five and a half minutes performance and the audience were clapping without exaggeration, at least half of it, three minutes clapping, unending, that we, we, we cannot imagine of that. So that much of respect uh, uh, is, uh, the artist is begging from the audience. So uh, that was unbelievable. And the same case in the US also. Here they respect the artist very much. They are very polite and they, they understand. They try to understand the artist's mindset, the psyche. So I see a hell lot of a difference from the audience, not not in the artist. Artists are same everywhere. They are emotional and they, they try to be in their own world. But the uh, the appreciation and the support they are getting from the audience uh, here is tremendous. Thus, everybody's dream is to come here and do work here. That's, that's the, everybody's dream it should be and so is mine. Brilliant. Respect. Respect everybody. Now, I, 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 um, I know that uh, your director friend Raja Morley, his, he counts among his heroes Steven Spielberg, James Cameron. Um, for both of you respectively, who, who are your musical heroes? Who have you always looked up to musically? or in terms of writing, who inspires you? 
Chandra Bose? Who inspires you? So my inspiration is Telugu um, poet Atreya. Telugu poet Atreya is a lyricist, a great poet, Atreya. great lyricist in Telugu Atreya. Telugu Atreya. Atreya is his Atreya. He's, he's a lyric writer. He's a lyric writer. writer. I will look him up. Australia's lyric writer of Atreya is my guru, is my god. Wonderful. We all need a guru. Um, MMK, who, who inspires you? Yeah, I take uh, uh, um, a sense, and I, uh, there are many, uh, and not one single person. It's from John Williams, sir, to Ilayaraja uh, of India. So I take, uh, uh, I mean, I learn from him. I feel like a student and learn from every good point from every each and every composer. Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan from Pakistan. There are many stalwarts, singers, composers and instrumentalists. So I enjoy everything, every, because I like global music. And um, remarkably, we were talking about uh, Gustav Holst earlier in the foyer, as you do. Are you all familiar with Gustav Holst and the planets? Yes. How many SCL members are in the audience? A few some tentative hands. See Chandra Bose, you thought you were nervous? These people, they're terrified of me. I used to run many screenings. <laughs> um, in, your, in your remarkable score, there's, there's a recurring theme and it's sort of na, 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 na. Does that sound familiar or am I just destroying your music. Yeah, 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 Does sound familiar? Yeah, that was Ram's theme. There we go. So, to me, that sounds a little bit like part of Mars, the bringer of war from the planets, but in a good way, not in a Hans Zimmer, I'm going to copy it blatantly <laughs> for the opening of Gladiator way. But this is what I find remarkable, ladies and gentlemen. MMK here has not actually heard Gustav Holst's The Planets, and he was looking it up earlier, and he's going to be, um, well, I wouldn't try and go to sleep to it tonight, especially not with Mars. You, you'll want to, you'll feel like you're back in Triple uh, R. But um, what I'm saying is, is um, you've, you've mainly grown up with Indian classical music rather than Western classical music, so I kind of feel priv privileged to get to introduce you to some other things. Um, I've got a horrible feeling we may already have run out of time mm -hmm. and we're not doing audience questions because mm -hmm. even though it only felt like a 30 minute um, epic party of epicness that was a three hour film so we will be winding up um, ladies and gentlemen but can you please rise <laughs> and roar We've given up to MMK and Chandra Bose. They are ruling Hollywood. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay, you can all revolt now, but don't do that this week. Triple R. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.